Hello, everyone. This is Karen. Hello, everybody. This is Shane. Today we're looking at part one of barking up the right tree. How dogs help protect our environment, and the vocabulary words are rescue. Rescue. She quickly dived into the water to rescue the boy. What a hero! I know. Disaster. Disaster. Several people were hurt by falling trees during the disaster. Keen. Keen. Ed has a keen eye for talent. In danger. In danger. Many human activities endanger the natural environment. Border. Border. Bring your passport if you want to cross the border. So we're talking about how wonderful dogs are. Man's best friend. I know. Wow. And not only that, they're our best friend. They can also help protect our environment. Can you believe that? Yes, they're already they're so famous for being able to protect humans and maybe protect like livestock, like cows and sheep and stuff like that.、Mm -hmm. But they have a very sensitive nose. That's, that's right. Really good for sniffing. Things、mm -hmm. out. I know. So it can help us solve a lot of problems. Right. So there's a kind of beetle that lays eggs in a certain kind of tree,、mm -hmm. and then this like kills the trees. Yes, and which is really bad for our environment. And dogs can actually sniff out、mm -hmm. the eggs. That's right. So then we <gasps> human can take action. We can protect our trees from being killed. Right. So they、right. can smell things that we cannot sense with our eyes or with our noses.、Mm -hmm. We can help to locate those things, and then we can help solve the problems. That's right.、We、and work then, together. Yeah. And then dogs. It's pretty amazing how you know they can smell like you know, like shark fins or different、uh, animals. You know, so they can really protect these animals yeah, too. Yeah. Endangered species. That's right. People try to take fur over the border or through the airports, and they can detect it with their. Very keen sense of smell. Mm-hmm. So you kind of kind of prevent these animals from being killed for certain reasons, right? Go dogs! I love dogs. Oof, oof. <laughs>、right. Okay, let's enjoy today's lesson, guys. Enjoy. Barking up the right tree. How dogs help protect our environment. Dogs are known to help humans with protecting farm animals, finding illegal drugs, and rescuing people during natural disasters. But did you know that dogs can also be trained to help protect plants and animals? Today's lesson is called "Barking Up the Right Tree: How Dogs Help Protect Our Environment." Part one. Hello, everyone. My name is Jeff. And I'm Mike. The expression, if I'm wrong, please correct me. But the expression is barking up the wrong tree. That is correct. And you're trying to do the wrong thing to get a result that you won't get. If Wait、you're... a minute, there. You've got the wrong impression about me. You're barking up the wrong tree. If you're complaining to someone who can't help you fix your problem, you might be barking up the wrong tree too.、Mm -hmm. You're kind of going about things in a Mixed up, confused way that won't be successful. But here we're barking up the right tree, which is not an expression, but it sort of refers to dogs.、Uh, It's I, about dogs. There you go. So apparently, yeah, we're going to get the right idea about how great dogs are. Let's do it. Let's do it. Dogs, everyone, are great. Dogs are known to help humans with protecting farm animals, finding illegal drugs. And rescuing people during natural disasters, and、yes. helping the blind, and finding people lost、the、in snow, and, and detecting cancer, and and, and, and and being really cute, and on and、yes. on. The list goes on and on. But yes, dogs like the Saint Bernard、mm -hmm. can rescue people from snow, and yes, an avalanche. If a lot of avalanches. Fallen down the side of a mountain that could be called a natural disaster. And yes, a Saint Bernard might rescue a person from the snow after an avalanche. They're awesome dogs. Anyways, here we have the verb rescue to talk about. If you rescue someone, you take them out of a bad situation. You take them out of harm's way. Someone's in danger, but then. You arrive and you take them out of that dangerous situation. You kind of act 
like a hero. You save the day. Now we can also use this word as a noun. A rescue, let's say, is a rescue operation. Okay, it's a, situ it's a situation where you have gone somewhere to rescue someone. So there you have it. For example, she quickly dived into the water to rescue the boy. The boy was drowning, so she dove in, grabbed him, and took him to safety. She saved the day. She rescued this child. That's right. Well, rescuing someone in any time when they're in danger is great, but of course, more people will need to be rescued during a after a natural disaster. Natural just means it comes from nature. It wasn't created by people, but a disaster is a huge. Terrible event: a big fire, an earthquake, a typhoon, a tornado, something like that that can hurt or kill lots of people would definitely be a disaster. The ones I mentioned: earthquakes, storms, typhoons. Those would be natural disasters. But if it's, for example, a factory exploding or a plane crash or something, those would also be disasters. But we would probably call those man-made. Disasters because they involve buildings or machines, but in either case, a disaster is a big, huge, terrible event, and lots of people were hurt, and maybe even killed. For example, several people were hurt by falling trees during the disaster. Maybe a big storm blew Ty down the trees. Typhoon or a tornado right. or something. Not yeah. good. Not good. Anyways, more on dogs. We all know dogs are great,、mm -hmm. but. Did you know that dogs can also be trained to help protect plants and animals? Plants? I did not. Maybe with animals, I had a certain idea about、sure. that, but protecting plants, I had no idea that dogs could do this. How about that? All right, folks. With that, it's time for us to take a break. But don't go away. We'll be right back after this. Hello, 大家好，我是 Hanny。我们都知道狗狗是人类的好朋友，它们可以扮演各种角色。那除了毛小孩，它们还可以是导盲犬、缉毒犬，甚至是称职的保姆，会帮忙照顾小宝宝哦。好，在这两天的课文当中，我们会看到狗狗也可以是生态环境的保护者。好，课文标题用到 Barking up the right tree， 它其实是来自 Barking up the wrong tree。那这个用法。典故呢是跟打猎有关。主人带着猎犬去打猎的时候，如果这个猎物逃到树上躲起来，猎犬它不会爬树嘛，就只好对着那一棵树汪汪叫。可是有时候可能会因为看错，然后就对着没有藏着猎物的树一直叫。所以 barking up the wrong tree 引申的意思就是搞错对象，也可以表达用错方法。那我们课文用 barking up the right tree 就是要表达用对方法，并且来呼应我们课文的主题，也就是狗狗。好，课文一开始说，大家都知道狗协助人类保护农场动物，寻找非法毒品，并且会在天灾的期间来救人。但是你知道，狗狗也可以被训练来保护植物和动物吗？这边有两个单字 ，rescue，rescue， Rescue, 它可以当动词或当名词来表达拯救或是营救。好，圣伯纳犬这种狗狗啊，会帮忙搜救雪崩的遇难者。j o e 老师说的 avalanche， avalanche 就是雪崩，它是拼作 a v a l a n c h e。好，下一个单词 disaster， disaster 就是灾难，像 natural disaster 表示天灾、自然灾害。接回到课文中 ，barking up the right tree。How dogs help protect our environment. Due to their keen sense of smell and their high energy level, dogs can be taught to look for invasive species that endanger local plants and animals. For example, in the United States, over 50 million ash trees have been killed by a particular type of beetle originating from Asia. The females of these insects lay their eggs in the cracks of the tree's bark. Their young feed on the wood, killing the tree. Since these insects are almost impossible for humans to locate, dogs have been brought in to sniff them out so that humans can take action. Dogs, everyone. That's the name of the game. More on dogs. Due to their keen sense of smell and their high energy level, dogs can be taught to look for invasive species that endanger local plants. 
and animals. How about that? And everyone, yes, dogs have a fantastic sense of smell. They have a keen sense of smell. Yes, here the word keen means sharp or highly developed. Very simply, dogs have a really, really good sense of smell, a highly developed and evolved sense of smell. They have a keen sense of smell. They smell much better than we humans do. By the way, here the word keen is being used as an adjective. For example, Ed has a keen eye for talent. He is able to spot talent quite easily. Wow, very interesting. He's good, He's good at it. He is. He must have a very sharply honed sense of talent. All right, so let's also talk about this verb to endanger. Endanger. Now this is a verb, and to endanger something means to put that thing in danger, all right? For example, if you ride a motorcycle without wearing a helmet, you are endangering your life. You're putting your life and your health at risk. Or if you gamble, you're endangering the money that you have bet. If you lose the bet, you will lose all that money. So you're putting something in danger at risk. For example, many human activities endanger the natural environment. Yeah, the pollution that we make we, that we make puts the environment in danger, or it endangers the environment. And of course, it's not just animals that can be endangered. We also have plants and even types of trees are endangered from other pests. And apparently, dogs can protect them. These plants. Amazing. For example, in the United States, over 50 million ash trees have been killed by a particular type of beetle originating from Asia. So, apparently, dogs are going to save the day somehow. They're going to save these plants, these ash trees. Get this, more on these beetles, these nasty beetles. The females of these insects lay their eggs in the cracks of the tree's bark and that's where the trouble starts. Interesting, all right. So these insects lay their eggs in the tree, and then what happens? We read, their young feed on the wood, killing the tree. Ooh, that's not good, especially if you're an ash tree. So how do dogs come into this? It says, since these insects are almost impossible for humans to locate, dogs have been brought in to sniff them out so that humans can take action. Okay, so the dogs aren't actually running around eating the insects. They, they, they would, smell the eggs. They smell the eggs, so then the humans, the tree doctors, know which trees are sick, as it were. Very interesting. Hmm, there you go. These dogs have a really keen sense of smell. They can even smell beetle eggs. Pretty cool. All right, folks, with that, it's time for us to take a break, but don't go away. We'll be right back after this. 狗狗的嗅觉很敏锐，而且精力充沛，所以可以教导它们来寻找危害本地动植物的入侵外来种。好，文中用到 invasive 这个形容词，就是形容侵入的。invasive species 就是指入侵的物种。好，那这边还有两个单字 keen keen， 它是当形容词，可以用来形容敏锐的或是敏捷的。endanger endanger。这个动词它表示危及、危害，或是使什么面临危险。那它的过去分词 endangered 可以当形容词来形容濒临绝种的。像我们说 endangered species 就表示濒临绝种的物种、濒危物种。那刚刚 Mike 老师用到 habitat， habitat。这个字天外表达动植物的栖息地，或者是指产地。那这个字它是拼作 h a b i t a t habitat。课文提到说，在美国有超过五千万棵的陈树因为某一种甲虫而死亡。那这种昆虫的雌虫会在陈树的树皮裂缝当中来产卵，那它们的幼虫就是以木头为食而造成这个树木死亡。好，人类几乎不可能找出这些甲虫的位置嘛，所以就让狗狗来嗅出那些甲虫的位置，让人们可以采取行动。好，这边用到补充单字 sniff， sniff。就是嗅或是闻 ，sniff something out 就表示透过嗅觉去把东西找出来，找出某事物。那么文中的 ash tree 指的是陈述，接华课文中。Barking up the right tree, how dogs help protect our environment. 
Similarly, dogs protect animals that are endangered by poachers. From shark's fin to tiger fur, animal products are sold and traded around the world. But dogs smelling for these products at borders can make those items harder to sell, which means fewer animals are likely to be killed. Okay, so dogs, they can protect plants. Mm -hmm. It's pretty amazing, and this goes for animals as well. Similarly, in the same way, dogs protect animals, certain animals that are endangered by poachers. Wow. Illegal hunters. Illegal hunters who hunt animals that are disappearing, that are endangered. Here's a few examples of some of these animal products from shark's fin to tiger fur. Animal products are sold and traded around the world. Absolutely. And of course, it's illegal to sell and trade these animal products, but it still happens. So again, where do the dogs come in? But it says dogs smelling for these products at borders can make those items harder to sell, which means fewer animals are likely to be killed. So this is the same kind of way we use dogs to sniff for illegal drugs or, or food or something like that as it travels around the world. We can find it if the dogs can sense it, and then, of course, the people can be caught. There you go. Also, if the dogs find this stuff, you can't sell it anymore. And the whole idea behind these items is that you can sell them and make money. If that incentive is gone, then people are going to stop doing this and they won't be trafficking in these illegal, nasty, bad items. Anyways, before we move on, let's talk about the noun border. Sometimes a border is the outer edge of something. Here though, we're talking about a line on a map, an imaginary line on a map that separates one country from another country. That's what a border is here. For example, bring your passport if you want to cross the border. Yes, if you want to cross that line that divides one country from another country, you better have the proper documentation. You better have your passport. All right, folks, that's it for today's lesson, but don't worry. We'll be back with more on dogs next time. See you then. 大家应该都有听过这种鱼翅有非法交易，对不对？从鱼翅到虎皮，有很多动物制品在世界各地销售交易，这些都是非法的。课文提到，狗狗可以保护那些受到偷猎者危害的动物，他们在边境闻这些产品，就可以让那些商品更难销售。那这也许就意味着会有越来越少动物被杀害。这样，老师提到说，当诱因消失了，那些坏人、那些人们就不会去做这些非法买卖了。好，老师用到 incentive 这个字 ，incentive 它是拼作 i n c e n t i v e， 这个字可以用来表达诱因、动机或者是刺激。好，老师还有用到 traffic， 也就是交通的那个字，把它当做动词来用，可以表达非法买卖。好，那要特别注意哦，它的过去式和过去分词要记得先在字尾补上 k， 才加上 ed 变成 trafficked。那它的现在分词也要记得先补上 k， 才加 ing 变成 trafficking。好，我们最后来看单字 border。border 它表示边境、边界。那么补充单字 poacher。poacher 它表示偷猎者，还有 fin。Fin 不是那个饮料哦，而是用来指鱼鳍、鳍状物，像 shark fin 就是鲨鱼鳍，也就是我们一般所说的鱼翅。好，以上是今天的讲解，同学们别走开，马上回来哦。大家好，我是 Hanny， 欢迎收看我们的文法单元。今天要介绍的文法重点有五个，第一个是 somebody or something be known to 加原形动词。第二个是 help somebody with 加上名词或动名词。第三个是 make 加受词加受词补语。第四个是 which 代指前方子句的用法。第五个是 be likely to 加原形动词。好，我们先来学 somebody or something be known to 加上原形动词。这个句型是表达说大家都知道某人或某事物会怎么样。某人或是某事物以什么东西为人所知？好，那么其中这个 known 是用来形容已知的或是知名的，像是 
The durian is known to have sharp thorns on its skin. 榴莲除了它的臭味很著名，榴莲的表皮有这个尖尖的刺，也是大家都知道的事。接着我们来学 ，help somebody with 加上名词或动名词，就表示帮助某人怎么样。像是 I'll help you with your homework as long as you treat me to a cup of coffee. 只要你请我喝咖啡，我就协助你写作业。好，接着我们来学 make 加上受词加受词补语，就表示使某人或某事物成为怎么样，变得怎么样。句型里面这个 make 它不是制造或是做的意思，而是指使成为、使变得。那它的受词补语常常会用名词或形容词表达，像是 This app makes learning fun。这个应用程式让学习变得很好玩。The movie Titanic made Leonardo DiCaprio an international superstar. 铁达尼号这部电影让尼奥纳多他成为国际巨星。哦、oh, ，他那时候超年轻，超帅的。接着我们来学 which 代指前方子句的用法。关系代名词 which 可以用来带领子句去修饰它前面的事物。那个事物就是先行词。好，不过其实 which 也可以用来修饰前方整个子句。以 which 来代指前方整个子句的话，因为你修饰的对象很明确，不用限定它的范围。那这时候 which 的前面要记得加逗号。which 带领的那个关系子句就是用来补充说明前面那个子句。那我们用例句来看会更清楚。Kyle knocked over a bucket of water. Which made his mother angry. Kyle 他打翻一桶水，这使得他妈妈很生气。好，那我们句子里面这个 which 就是用来指前面所提到的那整件事，也就是 Kyle knocked over a bucket of water. Kyle 打翻一桶水的这件事情。然后 which made his mother angry 就表示这件事让他妈妈很生气。最后来学。句型 be likely to 加原形动词，它表示可能会怎么样。那其中的 likely 在这边当形容词，表示有可能的。像是 the typhoon is likely to hit the island， 就是说台风有可能会侵袭那一座岛屿。好，以上是今天重点整理，我们下次见喽，拜拜。我跟你说，就爱讲英文里面的那个女的主持人啊，我觉得她这超正的哎。哇！而且我正的那个男主角角吗？主真正主男主持人是男主角吗？我真的超很帅。Oh word！ 等一下，为什么我们一直讲 word？ Word， 你说的很对啊。我们讲 word 啊、oh, ，word 是你说的很对的意思。对 ，word。OK， 我刚还以为是什么一个字。哈哈哈哈哈！字哦，那还有什么方式？哎、欸，那个字就是对。哦，那个字就是对，是不是 ？Word。OK， word。那还有什么可以表达 ？Word。好，因为是 true， 是对 ，right？ True 是真实的。对，所以是 true that。哦，所以 that is true， true that。哦， true that。可是年轻人不会讲 that is true， 对不对？听起来很对，对，就是 true。所以一定要讲 true that， 或者是他们说 true that。Add a the the true that. 一定要用这个口气讲，就是 true that. True that. 要这样 true that. True that. 还有呢？好吧，哦，比较女生的。That's so true. That's so true. Oh my god. That's so true. Oh my god. 真的是这样？这样吗 ？So if you agree with somebody, right? That's so true. Or yes. Oh, okay. This is very simple. <笑>然后，哎，我发现你会加一个 Oh my God， 对，好像大家都会讲 Oh my God，Yes，Oh my God，That's、yes. oh oh、God, God. God. so true。天哪，真的是这样哎 ！Oh my God，Totally，Totally，Totally， 完全就是这样吗？对啊，是完全是 true，、okay. 完全真的，完全对。OK， 对 ，Totally，Totally。Hey, do you think we should do the live action？Totally，Totally，Let's do it。He should not be wearing such tight pants. Oh yeah, that's so true. I was just thinking the same thing. That hat he wore yesterday was also out of control. Totally. Somebody should call the fashion police. <sighs> true that. Oh my god. <laughs> 
Number one. Word. Number two. True that. True that. Number three. That's so true. Number four. Yes. Number five. Totally.